You look like a Smurf here, just going around and all this stuff. Now, listen, Mr. Chairman, you no, have. No, I'm going to tell you no, no, something. Hold on, if we're you if we're not on time, we you disinformation. You, you, you have you gone on TV and said discount, the president did something you illegal. You're doing stuff with your brother. The American people have the same questions. Why should they believe you? Why should they believe you? Why should they believe you? There's, there's a different rule for the president. There's a different rule for you. Why should they believe you what you're saying, Mr. Chairman? Why? And I'll yield to anyone on this committee who disagrees that murder in schools is not murder. I yield. Will, you, will you yield? Oh, I'll yield. Yes, please. You want to know why the shooter is dead in Nashville, the trans shooter? You want to know why? Because a good guy with a gun killed that woman. She identified as a man. She was mentally ill, probably taking hormones. And she went in and murdered children and adults in this Christian school in Nashville. Because you guys made it easy for people who don't deserve to have weapons, who are mentally incapable of having weapons of war, being able to buy those weapons and go into schools. You know why you don't hunt with an AR-15 with a deer? Because there's nothing left. And there's nothing left of these kids when people go into school and murder them while they're trying to read. You guys are worried about banning books? Dead kids can't read. You know, when my Republican colleagues cozy up to neo-Nazis and the Proud Boys and white supremacist groups. Mr. Chairman? Yeah. Mr. Chairman, I find that offensive that the gentleman would make a broad statement like that. And I think that he should back that up with any individual, but not a broad group. That would be inappropriate for me yep. and untrue. That don't worry, I'm getting to the part you'll like. Well, okay. I don't, perhaps you are. I find it <clears throat> offensive that you have used this forum. Sure, no problem. Donald Trump, Donald Trump had dinner with a Holocaust denier at his house. You want, you want more facts? Th then use that, sir. Sure, no problem. When my Republican colleagues support a president of the United States who's having dinner with a Holocaust denier at his house and they remain silent, silence is complicity. Uh, when, there are Nazi, when there are Nazis... Mr. Chairman, Mr. Sessions. I would like my time Mr. back. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, well, I'm, yeah, sure, I'm sure you'll get that back. Broad statements are inappropriate and are not worthy of this hearing. I I know you're you in want, denial that he had dinner. I, I, with the I, I was dinner. unaware of it. So for you to assume that. Oh, I was national news for like it, a week. I, that, that matters not. not. Okay. What I'm trying to say, Mr. Chairman, yeah. is this hearing needs to stay very cordial and very much on the level. And attacks like this are exactly why our country is going through what we're going through. And Mr. The Chairman, there needs to be a, there needs to be a, a point of order, actually, in this. There's no point of Thank order. You, I, I, call, I called nobody out other than the the former president of the United States, Donald Trump. That is Trump. not correct, sir. You referred to Republicans. Mr. Chairman, there needs to be a point of order, that please. Is, Mr. Chairman, I would ask that you please admonish the people of this commit, subcommittee and that we are trying to make progress together. Mr. Chairman, to there needs to be a point of order. Other. Yeah, and I'd like we, my we, time back, Mr. We, Chairman. We, we need a point of order. You, you will get your time back. We're not running the clock. Uh, my first question uh, to anyone on the panel is, do you think parents in this country as they're putting their young kids into pajamas at night and they're tucking them in to bed. You think they're worried about public urination in Washington, D.C., or you think they're worried about sending their kid to school and their kid not coming home? As a father of two kids who packed them up this morning and sent them to school, I care about making sure they're coming home. Thank you. You know, I voted with the majority on the disapproval because I'm, I'm consistent. You guys want to talk about DC public schools and crime. I don't, I don't want to burst your bubble over there, but mass murder in schools is crime. That's crime. You want to talk about 1,300 cars being stolen? 550 people have been murdered in school. Who cares about the cars? What about the kids? No hearing for them. 338,000 kids have experienced gun violence in this country. The number one killer of school-aged children in this country, gun violence. How do you think for the parents who have had to bury their kids, who have had to decide what to put their kids, what kind of clothes to put their kids in when they bury them, or what kind of box they have to pick out for their child? 
or for when they come home and that room in their house is empty? What do you think about for the parents who have all their kids' stuff and they don't know what to do with it? What do you think about the parents? No high school graduation, no college graduation, no wedding, no grandkids, no future. What do you think those parents who have buried their kids think that we're holding a hearing to talk about DC public urination? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. How are you doing today? Great. Thank Good. you. <clears throat> you know, my Republican colleagues are so concerned uh, about budgets. You know, meanwhile, they can't keep the government open without Democrats, right? You know, they're so concerned about all of these things, but look what they've done the last, you know, 11 months in power, just com utter and complete chaos. And the one thing they want to talk to you about today is this FBI building. Well, I wonder who has texted them and emailed them to talk about the FBI building. And the whole thing, that's it, you're here, about this FBI building. I mean, could that be that Donald Trump is telling them to talk about this FBI building because he's just so mad at the Department of Justice? I mean, it just, it's so transparent. And, and by the way, I don't know if you know this, we have a, a war in Afghanistan, a war in Israel. We can't get Israel foreign aid because the speaker decided to politicize it. But they want to talk about furniture. Oh, what is, that is definitely on the American people's mind. Right, right there with gas stoves and ceiling fans, other hearings we've had uh, in, in, in this committee. Um, the chairman mentioned something, actually. He said that the Biden administration can't have it both ways. And I agree with that, Mr. Chairman, um, which is why I'm happy to yield you some of my time today, Mr. Chairman, because I think you owe it to the American people to explain why you've gone on Fox News and told people that while the president was out of office, he, he had a loan with his brother, and in a way they were evading taxes. It has come out in the public that you also do business with your brother with potential loans. And so since you have framed that and manipulated that with the American people, that Joe Biden did something wrong when he wasn't in office, I just would like to know if you would like to use some of my time. I would that. love. I would love it. Okay. You retweeted that story. Completely false. I've never loaned my brother one penny. My father, who was a dentist, had some farmland. He died, and my brother couldn't afford. He wanted to sell it, but he wanted to keep it in the family, so I bought it from my brother. That story that you tweeted also said I had a shell company. That is <laughs> You can come to Monroe County and look at all the land that is titled in that LLC. I think that the problem is, you know, they tried to get, the White House tried to get CNN to write that story. They went around and investigated all this that Ian Sams is trying to tell people that only dumb, financially illiterate people pick up on and said that uh, it was a shell company because it was an LLC. You're so financially illiterate that you think because something says LLC, it's a shell company. This company, which I financially disclose, has properties, okay? It manages thou over a thousand acres of land for hunting purposes. It owns different properties. I'm one of the largest landowners in my home area, okay? I went to the bank and I borrowed money and I bought that land. I didn't get wires from Romania, China, my family doesn't get wires, okay? Never loaned my brother money. Don't have an LLC. But you and Goldman, who is Mr. Trust Fund, continue to try Recla to... Reclaiming discredit. my time. No, I'm Re not going to give you your time back. We can stop the clock. Re you go on Fox News and say loans you and go on deals Fox are a way to evade and... taxes. We don't know that's what you're doing or not. We don't know. We have no idea. We're supposed to take your word for it. But when the president says something, Well, you've already been proven a liar, Mr. Moskowitz. What's that? You've already been proven a liar. Today. Who's proven me a liar? You? Yes. Your word means well, nothing, Mr. Chairman. Go to my hometown. There's a camera crew there today, an opposition research crew there today. Mr. To Chairman, this seems, to have gotten under your, this seems to have gotten under your skin. I'll pay I mean, for your I, ticket. I, I, I think the American people have lots of questions, Mr. Chairman, and perhaps you should sit maybe for a deposition. I, would, we can I will be questions. happy. I will sit with Hunter Biden and Jim Biden, and we can go over our LLCs. That, 